Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing a question that has been asked in CSVTU University exam in 2010. The question is like this. Steam enters the turbine at 20 meter per second and specific enthalpy of 3000 kilojoule per kg and leaves the turbine at 40 meter per second and a specific enthalpy of 2500 kilojoule per kg. Heat lost to the surrounding is 25 kilojoule per kg of stream as the steam passes through the turbine. If the steam flow rate is 360,000 kilo, kilo per hour determine the output from the turbine in megawatt. Neglect the change in potential energy. It's a very simple question. Just we have to take care of the units. Other than that, it's very simple. Okay, let's start. Your given values. You have C1 at the inlet as 20 meter per second. Okay. You have your enthalpy, specific enthalpy, so small h, right? Specific terms are denoted by small letters, right? Is 3000 kilojoule per kg. Okay. And at the outlet, we have the speed at 40 meter per second and specific enthalpy as 2500 kilojoule per kg also it says the heat loss to the surrounding is 25 kilojoule per kg again it's in specific terms so small value small letter right it's 25 kilojoule per kg okay we got this also and this is lost to the surrounding so it will be minus right okay and other thing what we have the steam flow rate is 33 lakh 60,000 kg per hour okay so mass flow rate is 3 lakh 60,000 kg per hour okay so it's in kg per hour can we convert it in kg per second yes we can convert this in kg per second it will be 100 kg per second okay we got this also right and another thing it is given in the question is that the potential energy change is zero that means z1 equal to z2 okay what we have to find out we have to find out your output from the turbine in megawatt so w cv this is capital w right in megawatt right now we know your s f e e that is steady flow energy equation as h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus g z1 plus QCV, these are all in specific terms, is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus WCV. Put it at equation 1. Okay. From the given, this equation can be converted as H1 
प्लस सी वन स्क्वायर बाय टू प्लस क्यू सी वी इज इक्वल टू एच टू प्लस सी टू स्क्वायर बाय टू प्लस डब्ल्यू सी वी इक्वेशन टू हाउ दिस वी गॉट बिकॉज जेड वन इक्वल टू जेड टू सो दीज आर कैंसल्ड आउट एंड वी गॉट दिस नाउ एज वी वॉन्ट आर फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू सी वी इन मेगा वॉट सो वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू रीडिजाइन दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू आर किलो वॉट और मेगा वॉट टर्म्स सो नाउ फॉर कैलकुलेशन इन किलो वॉट टर्म्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज दैट वी आर वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट दिस क्यू डब्ल्यू सी वी इन किलो वॉट टर्म्स देन वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मेगा वॉट राइट सो इक्वेशन टू बिकम्स एम डॉट एच वन बिकॉज वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई योर मास फ्लो रेट विथ ईच टर्म सो दैट वी कैन गेट द फाइनल यूनिट एज किलो वॉट इन वर्क डन राइट so we are just multiplying your mass flow rate to each value or uh, each term nothing new we are doing here if you have seen my previous uh, questions you will see that we are doing the same thing repeatedly okay we got this formula now we are see we know mass flow rate is given in the question we know h1 we know c1 we know small qcv we know h2 we know c2 so we can find out wcv right so we are just putting the values Hundred into three thousand plus hundred into C one is twenty, right? Twenty square by two thousand plus hundred into minus twenty five. That is the heat lost, right? Is equal to Hundred into H two. H two is what? You twenty five hundred plus hundred into C two is what? Forty meter per second. So forty square by two thousand plus W C V. Right. So. from here we can get wcv as 47440 kilowatt but we want to find out r wcv in megawatt so it will be 47.44 megawatt see this equation uh, question is very easy just we have to take care of the units